niggas tryna leave, but I'm destined to be. And niggas tryna take my life away. Put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me. My back on the wall, I'm not even gon' see. Niggas tryna take my life away. Put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me. My back on the wall, I'm not even gon' see. What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack. This is Cam and Jack Reacts. Cam is not here today. That being said, we got a very special video and a highly requested video. I've been seeing this requested more and more, and more as of late. Scarface, I Seen a Man Die. And it's got a lot of views as well. So I've not heard of this track. I'm excited to get into it, though. I got the lyrics pulled up. If I miss anything, though, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if y'all like this video, please, please, please make sure to like, subscribe, Turn on notifications if you haven't already, and comment in your requests down below. We will get to them as soon as possible. Without further ado, though, let's get in the video. Okay. Day in jail in the video. Okay. Let me pause it right there. Okay. He's painting a really good picture. I just did Mind Playing Tricks on me actually like 15 minutes ago. That will be on my Patreon, which will be coming out in the next few days. I'll let y'all know more about that later, though. And it'll be out on my main YouTube channel, like, a month from now. But what I noticed in that song, and this song as well, is that Scarface has a really strong ability to paint a picture, to tell a story. And he doesn't need complex words. It almost reminds me of Pac, in a way. Pac can really tell a story, just like he did in Brenda's Got a Baby. It doesn't have to be big words. It can be simple words, but each word has a lot of weight behind him. All his words are very heavy. In the same sense here. So it sounds like he went to jail or he went to prison, got out seven years later, and just a lot of things are different. Oh. Man, that's hard. And one of the lines I noticed that stuck out to me, he says, I can never see a man cry till I seen a man die. That's very interesting. I feel like it could be interpreted in different ways. Y'all let me know y'all's interpretation. I want to hear that down below. Like, is he saying that he doesn't think of a man as crying, but then when he saw someone die, it kind of changed his, his psyche. Like, he felt an emotion that he never felt before, and maybe that brought out tears, something that he was not accustomed to that's what i'm kind of getting out of it y'all let me know though let's go ahead and get back to it though he's he's doing his thing he's really painting a picture and i like the video as well okay second verse that was hard, I like that. I gotta pause that right there. I can't. I want to let his verse right out, but he just says so many hard lines that 
honestly, every line he said is worthy of a pause, is worthy for a breakdown. But I, I'm not going to have a, an hour video. I'm going to let him do his thing. That's why I'm reacting to it. It's not necessarily a full review. It's more of a reaction. But there were some very impactful lines and phrases in here. You took his life, but your memory you'll never take. That's heavy because, you know, you can kill someone, but their memory's going to live on is what he's trying to say. But the way he said it, it just hits. It just hits you different, you know? Let's get back to it. Run it back a few seconds. Mmm. That beat is nasty. It's perfect for for the verses he's spitting over this. Damn, dude. So they're showing the crime being committed in the video while he's reflecting on himself and his actions. That's dope. I I gotta pause it. I want to let it ride out so bad, but what he just said was so profound. It sounds like like a prophet the way he's speaking. How he's talking about death like that. He's got a very profound way of speaking. And I noticed this with a lot of old school southern rappers. They had they share that. They have a way of talking and a way of thinking that I think differs from a lot of other rappers from different regions. There's something about you grow up in the south in a certain time and just the way you think, the way you talk is different from everyone else, it's unique. Everything he says, it it just, it hits home a little different. When he says it, when he's talking about the subject versus a different rapper from another place, from another time period. If that makes sense to y'all. I really liked everything he said. There's nothing much to break down because everything he said is what he said. You know, you just gotta listen to it, that's all. Let's go ahead and get back to it though and I'm gonna let it ride out. But this is hard. Okay. So he just died and he has the tear going down his eye. Damn. This was a deep song. This might be one of the deepest songs I reacted to on the channel. And that beat fits perfect. It's like melancholy. It's not necessarily sad. It's just kind of like, damn. You know what I mean? That's the feeling I get. Like, damn. When I listen to that beat and the lyrics he's saying evoke that same feeling, if that makes sense. Every verse on here was perfect. I don't even have a favorite verse. It was just all so real, all so raw. It wasn't anything like some crazy flow or anything like that. I wouldn't want that. I like that slow flow went well with the content of the song that shit was fire definitely recommend some more scarface because i would love to hear some more stuff from him if y'all like the video though make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you haven't already and comment your requests down below other than scarface and we will get to them as soon as possible but that's it y'all y'all have a blessed day peace